Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Sir Godwin and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add a resource pack or a texture pack if you would to any of your any of your mod pack or your mod packs on the AT launcher. Now, this is actually really simple, nothing too hard. Um, but for the first, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be showing you like a specific mod pack. Um, I'm just gonna be well texture pack. I'm just gonna be using the FTB FTB 32 by 32. Um, and here you go. All you have to do is go to whatever you had your AT launcher. Um, when you downloaded it, you put all the stuff into one single folder. Um, if you have it all in the same folder, what you're going to do is you're gonna go into that folder. You will see the thing instances. You will double click on that, open that up. And then you will see all your instances. Now, for this, you do have to um, have to install the texture pack individually for each single mod pack. You cannot just install it, and it'll work for all of them. You have to go and do it separately. Um, for the purpose of this video, I will be doing it to the Sky Factory 2 one. And once you're in here, it's just like you went to Percent App Data and went to Dot Minecraft. You open up Resource Packs, go into here, drag it in, and they go. I have my Faithful 32 for FTB. And I will open up at launcher right now. It's already open, actually. Um, I'm actually going to restart it just because I don't know for sure if that's going to affect it or not. But let's go over here. I'm going to open up at launcher um, just to prove this is the newest version of at launcher. Just so you know, if you're all running on the old one, I would definitely recommend updating if you haven't already. Um, if it doesn't look like this, then you're running on the old one. Um, so let me go to instances. Sky Factory 2 and I'll click play. It does take a little bit for it to load up and I will be right back as soon as it does. Alright guys, it is officially open it has actually is finally opened up. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna keep it in the screen in the monitor capture mode because I don't have a proper Minecraft thing that isn't for live streaming. Um so let me go to resource packs. As you can see right here, F32 1.7.10 has the faithful 32 faithful faithful pack for feed the beast. It's right there. I will click that. I'm actually going to overlay this on top because I want that on top. Um, that's just a texture pack that comes with the mod pack itself. This is probably going to take a little bit. I don't know if I'll cut right here or if I'll just keep talking. But usually resource packs because yeah, they just take they just take a long time to be able to do this. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, I'm just going to load up the game. Probably another skip. Maybe not. Um, this is just my live streaming world. I, only world I actually have for it and it's got stuff all around it so you can actually be able to see if it is working or not um, sometimes it does take a little while sometimes it doesn't um, hopefully it will take a short amount of time for the good of this video um, so let's just wait a couple seconds it should load up here soon I don't have the best computer so it does take a little bit to load up alrighty it is open for some reason there's a king slime hop uh, thing on the top I actually don't know what that is. Apparently there's a King Slime around here. Um, it is going to be a little bit laggy for a second. But as you can see, this is the Faithful 32 texture pack. You can see everything is in the 32 format. Um, if you haven't seen default already, you can actually... Re it's really obvious to tell. Um, the pickaxe. Everything is in Faithful 32. Um, the barrels are in Faithful 32. All this stuff is in Faithful 32. Um... But yeah, that pretty much is just proving that if this does work. That's it's 100% the way to do it. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button if it did help you out. And also hit subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything you want a tutorial on, just let me know. I will get started on that tutorial as soon as I get everything together to do it. Um, but yeah, that's going to call it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.